In the previous video, we discussed complex Boolean expressions and logical operators. And we used an example where we place students in one of four dorms based on their gender and what year they were in school. And to flowchart that out, I just want to show you that it would be no different than flowcharting out a normal if, elif, else conditional structure. It's just that in each diamond shape, we are asking two things in this case. But in this lesson, I want to explore another way that we create the same program, and that is using nested conditionals. A nested conditional is simply a conditional that exists inside the fork or a true or false clause of another conditional. So in this in a nested condition, we are asking a question followed by another question based on the value of that first question. We're going to rewrite that program using nested conditionals. And we're first going to ask the question, is their gender female? And if it is, then we're going to ask the next question, is the year less than three? And if that is less than three, then we're going to set the dorm to Gryffindor. If it's not, we'll set the dorm to Hufflepuff. And then we'll do the same thing, asking male, and again, asking what year they are and setting the dorm based on that choice. And then if gender is not male or female, we'll set the dorm to home. Let's take a look at how we would code that. We're going to start by asking the question, is the gender female? And then in the true fork, we're going to do another if structure. This is our nested if, an if structure that's nested or indented inside the true fork of that first if structure. Here we're going to ask the question, is the year less than three? If it is, we'll set the dorm to Gryffindor. If it's not, we'll set to Hufflepuff. Then we ask the next question, is the gender male? And again, we're going to do a nested if for that true clause, setting the dorm to Ravensclaw and or Slytherin, based on true or false. And then we want to do an, an else clause. If neither of the gender is male or female, we're going to tell them that the dorm is for their own home and they've been expelled. That concludes our outer or original if structure. We want to continue then with the output of printing the dorm. Take note of the indentations here, the if, the elif, and the else of our outer clause align and then indented under the true clause for the female gender is an if else that aligns and the same is true then under the true fork for the male clause. Indentations are very important and your spacing must be the same. Let's take a look at this running in Python. So here's our dormitory problem rewritten with nested conditional structures. So here's my if, looking at the female input, seeing if that's true, and if that's true, then we're going to ask what year they are. Less than three, we'll set the dorm to Gryffindor, otherwise we'll set it to Hufflepuff. If they didn't put an F, then we'll check to see if they put in an M. So we used an elif here, and if they put an M, so they're male, then we're going to look at the years at less than three, so it's one or two, we'll set the dorm to Ravensclaw, otherwise we'll assume years three and four, we'll set it to Slytherin. If they put in a, a letter other than F or M, then we're going to use that else clause and tell them that they're basically going to be home because they've been expelled. Same print structure as before. Let's just run this. So I'm going to put in Ron. Ron is male. And let's say Ron is year two. And Ron will be residing in Ravensclaw. So we hit the, the if here for female was not true, so ignored all that. Did the elif. Male was true. If year is less than three, well, two is less than three, and the dorm is Raven's Claw, and that's what's printed out. Let me run this again. This time we'll do Hermione. Female, and let's say Hermione's year three, and Hermione will be residing in Hufflepuff. So here again, the gender female was true. If year is less than three, well, three is not less than three, so it ignores that, it comes down to the else, and the dorm is Hufflepuff. Everything else is ignored, and then our print statement. You can have as many conditional structures nested in other conditional structures as you need. Just make sure you maintain the correct alignment and indentation.